Yes. JD. Yeah. Yeah. Steve. Steve let us know um, that he signed JD and uh, me, Pete, and Francisco, and um, and then you know he just said um, you know hey got it and um, you know wishing you guys the best of luck. So um, you know we obviously thanked him um, and uh, you know we always love adding a bat, especially a bat of the caliber of JD. And, um, you know, just thanked him and thanked him for his support. And, uh, you know, he's continuing to care as much as we are and, and try and work on this as much as we are. And so, um, you know, we just, we really appreciate um, having an owner like Did him. Did he have the three of you on a text chain? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so no, he just, yeah, he just sent it to uh, um, to Pete and, and Francisco. And, um, and yeah, he just put us in a chain. So okay. I mean, it's not it's not like it's been used a lot, um, <laughs> but he just yeah he put us in a chain and um, and told us and uh, kind of and just let us know um, and then obviously you know right behind that um, Scott was letting me know as well sure. that hey you got a new teammate so um, so you know it was uh, it was really good really great news to to get last night um, like I said because you know we're we're never going to turn down another bat especially of that caliber so. Um, really excited to uh, to to get to learn from him. Um, he's obviously been one of the one of the greater hitters of our generation, and um, you know I think uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun to get to be a sponge around him. Yeah, I mean I think it, it only helps, right? Um, you know we we've got someone that is a veteran who's who's been there and done that, um, and and has more experience uh, to to pull on. Um, and so I really think, you know, it does nothing but help us, um, you know, especially even the young guys, even myself, like to be able to learn from him, um, you know, you got to see it from, you know, the other side with Max and, and Justin and them rubbing off on the younger players, um, you know, in years past. You also are probably going to see it from JD now, you know, of a guy that's just been around and he's he's done it and you know tried it a lot of different ways and been with different organizations and uh, you just being around that long, it's it's really hard to uh, to substitute that experience and so um, I think it does nothing but help us. Did you get a chance to interact at all with him today? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I just told him I'm excited uh, for him, you know, to be here. Uh, no, it's a whirlwind right now. And, uh, you know, I just want to try and make it as, as calm of a process as possible. And, um, you know, we want to get him as at-bats and we want to, you know, be able to help in any way we mm -hmm. can. Um, so, fortunately, we had the, the minor league, um, head, head of minor league pitching, you know, that was in the lunchroom too. And um, he overheard us talking and said, we, yep, we can make that happen, you know, and, and we'll get you at, the at-bats you need and everything. And so... Um, you know, we just want to make sure that now that he's here, that, you know, again, biggest part of spring training is getting out of here healthy. You know, for him, you know, his timeline is going to be different, obviously, but it's still, still the same uh, goal is to get out of it healthy and then be able to help us I mean, out. I think, I think you're going to want, you know, as many at-bats as, uh, as it takes to get comfortable, which differs from person to person. Um, but there's a way to speed that process up um, for mm -hmm. sure. Like, um, especially, you know, being in a role where he could probably come in and, you know, do the DH, you're, you're looking at, you know, someone that does have to get the conditioning side of it done for sure. Like you got to make sure your body's yeah. ready for nine innings, but it is less, less wear and tear than going out in the field and, and, and doing that. So, so really it's going to come down to when he feels comfortable with, uh, with his swing and, and, and facing live pitching. Um, and I, I, you know, I can't speak for him on that. I, I know that it, it differs from person to person, but there are ways to speed up that process and get it, uh, you know, get more at bats in a shorter amount of time than say we've had. Yeah. I mean, I, I still would tell Mark that, you know, it, there's, there's nothing done yet. I mean, we're, you know, we're still making decisions and there's still going to take 40 guys, you know, to, to win and, and get to the playoffs. Um, and so, um, just because we, we made this signing doesn't mean that you're any less a part of this team. Um, and, you know, he hit another home run today. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really happy to see the strides that he's making. He's a young kid. He's 24 years old. Um, I was 23 when I broke into the big leagues, and I really didn't solidify a spot until, like, 25. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, I've been in his shoes, and you have to accept the challenges that come your way. 
um, and you just got to keep grinding um, because you never know what's going to happen in this game. Um, and this is a long season. I, I, I preach it every single year that it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, there's going to be plenty of opportunities along the way. So um, I think that you just still have to approach every day the same way. Um, keep your head down. Just keep working. Uh, keep trying to find, you know, where can I get better? What can I do, you know, in order to work on this weakness? What can I do to maintain my strengths? Um, and, you know, just keep trying to strive to get better every single day. But, um, you know, I think that's what I, that's what I would tell him is, is nothing's changed from your standpoint and from your, uh, your point of view. You still got still to gotta work. It didn't matter if he was going to be on the major league team or, or if he was starting the year in AAA. He was still going to need to try and get the most out of himself and work hard. And um, even when you're in the big leagues, I can speak from experience, Um, the work never stops, you know, you never stop trying to get better and, you know, they're always adjusting to you and you're adjusting back to them. So, um, (laughs) you might as well just get used to, to always working and to always trying to figure it out and always trying to get more out of yourself.